In this lesson, we'll take a look at converting our image-based sculpt into a multi-resolution sculpt. So here is our little guy with his vector displacement map on with the sculpted detail that we've created thus far. So let's na say now that we want to convert this into a multi-resolution sculpt. So you've got multiple subdivision levels. You can go up and down and uh, we'll finish sculpting it that way. So in order to do that, it's going to be really easy. But the way that it's going to do it, it's going to do a few things. And so I want us to be aware of all of the things that it's going to actually do when we hit this button. So we're in the, uh, the Paint tab under Utilities, and we're going to hit Convert to Multi-Resolution. So there's a few things that I, I want us to be aware of. Um, I want us to be aware of the kind of subdivision polygons that we're looking at. So right now you can see as I hover over this guy, we get kind of a blue highlight here. This is the kind of the default subdivision surface. We can also see that the vector displacement map is turned on. And if we look at our creature geometry and we come down under the properties, and let's select this guy. We come down under the properties and we go into the subdivision settings. You can see here that, kind of open this up, this multi-resolution tab is turned off under the Catmull Clark subdivision. So here's the subdivision that it's using right now. And the Catmull Clark is what it's going to need to use for the multi-resolution. It's kind of a different algorithm uh, to figure out how the, how the uh, sculpted detail or how the, the model will be subdivided, rather. Okay, And so uh, when we're working with, we'll, actually, we'll take a look at, uh, in a second, we'll take a look at a, um, a primitive and see how to set it up from scratch. But let's really quickly convert this. So we've got our object, we've got our vector displacement map on this. So let's just go ahead and hit convert to multi-resolution. It's going to bring up one little option here and that's all we have to set. So we need to figure out how many subdivision levels do we want. Uh, we'll say we want three, that's fine. So we'll say okay to that. Now you can see it's changed a little bit. Everything is sort of smoothed out. So this is now in a multi-resolution setup. Okay, so one of the things we'll notice here that it's done just with the click of that button, it's turned off the vector displacement map, so we're no longer using it even though we're seeing the detail. It's also taken this object, and if we go into the properties at that spot that we looked at earlier, this multi-resolution is now turned on. So uh, we are currently using the Catmull Clark subdivision instead of the default subdivision. And we can tell that by, under polygons, highlighting some of these polygons, and I hope you can see that. It's now kind of a green highlight. That lets you know that you're now using that other subdivision algorithm. Okay, so it's taken the information from that map, baked it into our uh, subdivision levels. It's subdivided it and converted the subdivision to a Catmull Clark subdivision and turned on this uh, option here. Okay, if we actually click on one of the sculpting tools, we can turn on the sculpting heads up display. And you can see, instead of saying multi-res off, it now says multi-res three of three. So our subdivision levels are here, one, two, and three. We're currently on level three. We can go ahead and hit one. We can hit two. We can hit three to move up and down those levels. Okay. We also have the offset amount here. And we can change this just by middle mouse dragging. That's kind of the, the strength. And then right mouse changes our our brush size. So that's um, very helpful there. If you want to use uh, key combinations to move up and down existing subdivision levels, you can hit Control minus on your keypad or Control plus to move up. If you'd like to actually add subdivision levels, you can hit Alt plus and you can see that that's added an additional subdivision level. So giving us even more detail uh, to be able to work with. So you can move up and down your subdivision levels that way, or you can come in here, move up and down this way, or you can use the arrows. There's a lot of different ways that you can move up and down your subdivision levels. Now we converted a an image-based sculpt into multi-res. What if we want to just start from scratch? So let's temporarily kind of turn this guy off. And let's instead go ahead and add, we'll just add a unit sphere here. And let's say we want to set this up to sculpt. You can see right now it's subdivided using our default subdivision algorithm. And that's just by hitting the tab key gives us that. If you want to uh, use the Catmull Clark subdivision, all you have to do is hit shift tab. And now you can see that that is green. 
So shift tab is going to do the Catmull Clark tab by itself is going to do the regular subdivision. Now we'll take this sphere. We want to make sure under the Catmull Clark subdivision in the properties, we turn on multi-resolution. We can come in here, activate this, and you can see we've already got a couple of levels here because we've got levels here under the uh, subdivision level. We can go ahead and increase the subdivision level and you can see that that is increasing the multi-res levels that we're working at. Okay, so we've got a subdivision level. We've also got current level, and that is the level that we're currently on. Okay, so you can see how that corresponds between these. And so now we can come in and begin sculpting at this particular level. And then if we want to do some shaping, we can jump down a couple levels, do some sculpting there, move back up into a higher level, do some finer sculpting, back down to level one, and you can see, we can't see that sculpting, but it's still there if we go up to the highest level. And so here we can get kind of a traditional multi-res sculpting workflow. Okay, just remember, it's got to be the Catmull Clark subdivision. Shift tab will let you do that. You also need to turn on your multi-resolution checkbox for your object, and you can begin sculpting.